Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Inside the Den. Now today we're going to take a look at Heroes Go and this is a recently launched, I want to say side scroller, but basically just an action arcade style combat smash em up MMORPG. Got a lot of really cool elements here. So as you can see, I've got level 4 Limpy, Beginner's Guild 5. We're going to go through the character creation process real quick. So let's go create a character. Now you have four different character classes you can choose from. You've got the Breaker, which is kind of your, uh, your more big smashy warrior type class. You can see eventually class promotion to Destroyer or to Dark Warrior. Then you have the Blader, which is a little bit faster. He's kind of got like this little rapier type thing, whatever you want to call it. And he moves into a duelist or a lightning fencer. We can actually see those and kind of get, a, they got really cool little pictures for those guys. So we take a look at that. Then you've got the Gunslinger, which can turn into a gun whipper or a heavy shooter, kind of depending upon which direction you want to go. And obviously you can research these as you get deeper into it, but you can see some of the stuff in the info right here uh, that tells about these different classes. Then you have the mage, which can turn into an elementalist, which you can see battle characteristics, freezes en enemies, long range, attack style, long range magic attacks, fire and ice, weapon staff, so on and so forth. Or you've got the mediator, which is light and darkness spells, fire, long range attacks of light and dark at the wand, fabric, and all that different stuff. So you can see all those different things in there. Now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make a mage. Now you can also see the animations of the different skills that they have. A lightning balloon to lightning star, because you've got some pretty cool combos that come into play. So this is the flame dragon to dragon dive. Here it comes, and then so on and so forth. And then you've got the dark storm abyss column and arcane nova. So. Each class kind of has these con these attacks that slowly progress into combos as you're utilizing them. But let's go ahead and we'll create a mage. And you can see you've got your little uh, kind of grid here that describes the mage attack, range, no defense pretty much, very little vitality, and speed. And you can see control difficulty, hard attack style, uh, powerful attack, blessing of Gaia, max MP up. So let's go ahead and we're gonna name this character my favorite female name. <clears throat> yes, I'm obligated to say that, but then you can kind of randomize things. Now, this is one place that I wish the game had a little more customization, but that's okay. It has it has enough to kind of get by. It actually has a little bit more on the female side than it does on the male side. The male side does not have as much, or it doesn't feel like it has as much customization. We're going to go ahead and we're going to go with... Yeah, see, so it's basically like six. We'll go with that one right there. I want that kind of jester's outfit for mine. We're going to go with the green. And then pantalones-wise, we'll go with that one. And then you can kind of get crazy with the gloves. And with the shoes, we'll go with purple and call it a day. So we're going to go ahead and create that character. And then that's pretty much it. There we go. We've got Jelena Jetson. Now, I'm not going to take you guys through the tutorial, but you can see here you've got some creation stuff that unlocks once you reach level 10, level 20, level 30, level 40, and reach level 50. So you got some good stuff there coming up. Now we're going to go ahead and game start with my main character. And the reason I'm going to do that is kind of got past, like I said, all the tutorial stuff. Now, one of the cool things, normally with these side scrollers, they're very two-dimensional. Now this one kind of joins the likes of like Dragonica and stuff like that where you have a very 3D feel. Now you can't move the camera around. You can see I can't move the camera around. Now all the movement is with arrow keys. I wish I could use my controller, but as of right now, I cannot use my controller. Now you've got this click to open the quest list. Now we have this at the Cobalt Conning. Now you see here it says inside the historical site and I will be rewarded with a shabby silver necklace. So let's go ahead and go in there. But you can see there's players running around. We have uh, some different, you've got the bladesmith, you've got the blacksmith. If we bring up our map, we can see we've got all different things. You've got the town, ch the town chief, uh, then you've got the warehouse keeper where you can store stuff. Then you've also got your grocery where you can go and buy potions and things of that nature. Uh, the black market. Then you've got your priest where you're going to get healed when you die. Then you've got your, I'm sorry, the alchemist is where you buy potions. The uh, Actually, this is where you buy potion accessories. Then the alchemist is exchange shop and craft items because there is crafting in the game. You can see you've got these different um, portals that will head you out of town, right? And when you highlight over these portals, you'll see the different areas that are in there. Now you see the Snow Mountain of Darkness required level 10. The Alpine Remains required level 2. Level 30. Then you've got level 20 over here. So you are going to have to reach certain level uh, kind of requirements before you're going to be able to leave these different areas. So let's get out of here. We're going to go over here. No, nope, that's going to be open soon. And we're going to head out this way over here. But you can see it's kind of cool to see different people running around. Now let's bring up 
our different sheets here. We've got our quest list, which you guys already saw. Then we've got our mailbox. You don't need to see that. You saw the town map. Then you've got character info, which is under J. You can see all my equipment. You can see costuming items. You can see my attack, my accuracy, all my different statistics, stuff of that nature. Then you can see some additional stuff here. You can see uh, race bone. You've got different things in here. And I think I have something that's relevant to this. Yes, I believe I do. So Stardust Dodge Rate. So permanently increased dodge rate by one. So we're gonna go ahead and use that. And that increased my dodge rate permanently by one. You'll find all kinds of different stuff like that as you're progressing through the game and opening boxes and doing all of that different jazz. So pretty cool stuff right there. Now we saw our character, saw our inventory. Then we have our skills. The nice thing is you can move all these little windows around however you like. Now you see I've got my combo attack mastery. You see rising sword. I've gone ahead and you can see I've got current skills. You can see that and then next is level six requirement and then this will open up at a, once I reach lightning fencer and then you got sudden impact and all of these you can see down here in my different skills now, you, now I do have this one this escape stance which is gonna you know bounce me out of there in the event in the event that I get in trouble so you want to basically you know if you want to be offensive you pretty much want to focus on S and D and then the basics of attack are in your S or Z X C and then B, which is this, this really powerful attack that you have to wait until you actually fill this bar to be able to use. So let me see if I can get it to show up. Yep, the transformation gauge. And that will actually transform you into this really crazy uh, version of yourself, which allows you to just go nuts on stuff. So now we want to go ahead and look at our quest here. We see here that the dungeon is inside inside historical site. So I can go ahead and hit map and I can see that that is right here, the historical site entrance. But the cool thing is even though like this area, like I said, they have level requirements. You see this one has a level 50. You can take and you can look at all the different little dungeons that are available for you. And you progress pretty quick in the game. So you will find yourself moving you know you're gonna you're gonna go to the historical site a couple of times but it changes each time so start with the threats and stage no that's locked right now that's cleared so we want to go ahead and why is that locked locked i need level six and i think i think that's where i need to go let me take a look here cobalt colony uh inside the historical site Hmm. Let's go ahead and anyways, we're gonna go ahead and we'll run investigating trolls there. No, I really want this, but I'm only level four. So I guess I'm gonna have to just run this for you. Oh no, let's go to inside the historical site. Ha ha, there we go. Now we have found, oh, you gotta be kidding me. Quest in progress. So why can't I get in there? I want in there at the Cobalt Connell. Quest in progress, so why can't I go in there? Huh. What do I need to do? The kobolds were controlling the trolls using the artifact. Blah, 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 blah. Find the kobold Len mentioned about. Hmm. Well, I'm going to have to figure out why I can't go in there. But for now, I want to be able to show you guys at least running through a dungeon before I run out of time. So let's get this party started. So we're going to go ahead and do this dungeon again. Now you see you've got these little cutscenes. You can skip by them by just hitting escape. Now you do, once you kind of get these guys in place, you do get some pretty cool combos. You can see I can just pound away on X and I can just combo the crap out of these guys. Now I can also get out of there by hitting Z, and you can see I can also get these guys nice and gathered up and uh, just start wailing on them. I'm gonna actually see if I can beat my old time on this. Now when stuff drops on the ground, you're just gonna wanna hit space bar to pick it up. You can see in the up in kind of the more left side of the screen, I've got this little map that shows me the different stages that I need to go through. Now the other thing you'll notice, you see that I was uh, fighting, you know, side scroller style there, but I can also fight going straight at them, going straight up and at them. So we can go this route. Now I'm gonna go ahead and use one of my skills. Go ahead and pound away on these guys. And that act, that skill actually stuns them as well as doing a whole bunch of damage to them. So let's go ahead and just start wailing on these guys some more and let's finish them off. Obviously the game is kind of your, uh, like I said, it is kind of your arcade style. So the one, you know, what always comes with that is at the end of each of these, you're going to have a score. And with that score, you're gonna be able to open up boxes and get more treasure and all of that good jazz. So you wanna get through these dungeons as fast as you possibly can. So we wanna basically just wail on these guys quickly, take them down. Now you do have some con or some breakables in different areas and you'll be able to notice them pretty easily by just uh, seeing if they've got a little gauge over their head. 
And you see we've got these little treasure boxes that will show up every once in a while. We can just wail on those and they will open right up. Now let's not get stuck here. Let's get all these guys together. Come on. Come on. There we go. Nice and tight. Nice and tight together so we can just wail on them all together now. Nice combos. That's the other thing, is if you take and you get plenty of combos, all in one shot, you're going to get a higher score at the end that, with that as well. So let's go ahead and grab that recovery potion, finish him off. This guy decided he wanted a little bit of the action too. So we'll go ahead and finish him off too. And then we can haul booty for this little door that's opened up and take off. So there we go. Now we're into the next little stage. And you can see I'm progressing through these stages. Take these these little cute little trolls out with their uh, their little 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 flat bottoms. Oh yeah, that's another thing. When you are down and you are on the ground, you can use your uh, you can use your uh, your Z to get up, which is normally your dash, and that will actually pull you up off of the ground in a spinning motion that will allow you to attack as well as picking yourself up off the ground which you know comes in handy when you're when you're surrounded by enemies so let's get this arcane dust now you see i'm picking up this dust now this dust becomes very important later on because what the dust does is one it allows you to craft different things but two it also allows you to progress to your next uh your next job progression so you want to start collecting that dust and getting as much of that dust as you can and hoarding it, essentially, so you can take and progress to your job advancement, which you will first be able to uh, do at level 20. But as you can see, I'm already level 4. I haven't played the game that much. So you do progress through those levels rather quickly. Let's head through here. Now we're progressing. Now this this stage right here, we actually have to progress past this stage and then go on to the next stage to open up the final the little the little boss area, I believe. We got our troll backbone. Let's see if we can let's see if we can cruise to the boss room a little quicker. Nope, we can't. See, it didn't let us. So we're going to go ahead and kill all these guys, and then we'll be able to progress to the boss room, even though my little arrow is telling me to go the other way. Let's get all these guys nice and tightly knit together, so we can wail on them all at once. Plus, it doesn't hurt, because I am going to get a nice bonus box of treasure. Oh yeah. You see, as it explodes, it makes the pretty little sound. There we go. Now we got all you guys done. We can pick up all this stuff, including some of the arcane dust that I needed. Let's start let's start cruising out of here and get back to where we can head to that boss room. There we go. Now it's telling me the right way to go. But you can see, I mean, as far as the levels are concerned, the design is actually pretty well done. I like the look. I like the way it feels. It's kind of it kind of is giving you that that kind of cutesy feel. So you don't really you don't you don't really feel too bad for the monsters. You just feel like you're giving them a little spanking. It's not that you're actually killing them. You're just giving them a little little tap tap tappy. So there we go. Now I'm. What's really weird is I already hit that switch when I was here last time. So I guess it's not going to make me hit that switch again, which is awfully nice of it. So uh oh, here's some of the giant troll soldiers. Now I know some of you guys are probably saying, "All right, Limpy, you you beautiful bald man, you." What does the game really have that's different? Now, I'm gonna actually say, go out on a limb and tell you, the game doesn't have anything, I would say, that's super unique. The combat is fast paced. And I know, we, you know, recently I've been talking to some of you guys and some of these arcade, uh, you know, beat em ups or these side scrollers. There's been a few of them that have actually gotten shut down. So I know some of you are really, uh, are really missing some of the other ones that are out there. So this would be possibly good, be a good replacement for you guys. So if you're looking for another, but as far as what does it really have that's, 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 you know, what is it bringing to the, to the genre that's just, oh my God, that's amazing that that's doing that. Nothing really, but hey, it is a different world to explore. It is a different world to see. It's a bunch of different monsters to fight. And overall, I mean, the game has a decent replay value. 
I mean, you get through these you get through these dungeons quick. Now, some of you will be like, well, you know, it's not open world, so that's not good for me. Well, I understand that. I get that. I know some of you guys aren't that jazzed about the fact that it's not open world or whatever and whatnot, and that's okay, you know. These types of games are not for everybody, but for those of you that that do like these types of games and are potentially looking for a new one to play or another one to play, especially with so many different games getting shut down in the in the recent past and especially all of this year, this could be the one that you know fulfills that little that little need for you, that little that little itch that you have. You can now potentially scratch it. So here we go. We're going up against the big mutant troll soldier boss. He's already been smacked down a couple of times, as you can see. He's got those nice scars on his face. So we're gonna get over here. We're gonna start to lure him out a little bit. And we're gonna go ahead and smack him and all of his buddies down. Let's get out of there. Let's go ahead and do it again. Hey! You guys are not supposed to be beating me up like that. You're supposed to just take it like good, good trolls. Uh-oh, Mutant Troll's ferocity has increased. Let's get out of there. We'll go ahead and lay the smack down on him like that. Get up in the air. Now you can do, as you see, you can do jump attacks. You can also do dash attacks. Let me go ahead and do demonstrate that for you guys. Oh, I just totally ran into that, by the way. There we go. I'm just gonna go, I'm just gonna go ahead and beat him. But you do, like you saw, you do have different combos and stuff like that. And this little Cobalt Elder, Elder is pretty... I hurt his feelings by defeating his buddy. I did go a little bit faster, but I still did not get my third S this time. So there we go. We, well, we are able to open up that stuff. And we can go into our... We can go into our inventory and see what we got. We got these new pants, which actually is for a uh, breaker, even though I'm a blader. So I got a couple things that are for a breaker and not a blader. And we got a couple things for a mage as well. So as you can see, you are going to get stuff like that. But there is a place that you can sell these, which is awfully nice. Back in town, you do have places that you could sell this different stuff to other players and all of that good jazz. Now, unfortunately, we are seeing down in the bottom left-hand corner, there is already a bunch of gold sellers spamming the crap out of chat, which already sucks it'd be nice one day some of these games will figure this out and figure out that there is a way around that but either way guys i hope you enjoyed today's trip inside to get inside the den don't forget to subscribe and keep yourself updated as each new episode is released also don't forget to head on over and follow me at twitch tv forward slash mmo den where you can see me live streaming almost each and every day now make sure to comment and like on this video as I really do appreciate that video, uh, that that feedback. And if you'd like to play or learn more about Hero Go or Heroes Go, sorry, you can see the full game profile at mmoden.com or just click the link in the description. All right, guys. Till next time. Keep on fapping and thanks for watching.